he blessed Elizabeth's eyes. He asked um, that we pray for him and said he will be praying for us. Elizabeth gave him a gift. It's a meteorite, um, which is what started this whole process when we went to the observatory. Um, he was very appreciative. Um, yes, it, the story when it began, you know, we were not used to press. Um, and we, when we found out Lizzie had uh, the genetic disorder, uh, we, we called a local observatory, there happens to be one in the area that we live, and asked to be able to come in a little bit early uh, to actually see the telescopes and all of that. So uh, we had a member of the press, uh, Caitlin Durbin from the Mansfield News Journal, who uh, did a small story. We thought we would be in the back of the newspaper and we ended up front page. Uh, and then it went to the Associated Press and just grew from there. So that's kind of the roots of where this story began with that location. I, I don't think she was nervous, but I think it was a lot, you know, and uh, I think it was a powerful moment. I just saw a little bit as she, you know, had finished up with... with uh, she, she just stared at him. She yeah. was big eyes. And as Pope Francis came up to where Lizzie was, um, uh, a calm came over me. Um, I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, we came here again hoping for some amazing memories for Lizzie, something that she'll remember when things change for her. Um, but what we got uh, was, I, I think, you know, we've seen several miracles, you know, I believe myself. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, what Pope Francis has done for her, if there's any chance for a miracle, it will be there.